Hello everyone, just a quick check-in message from me here in Stratford-on-Avon on this a very momentous week. America has a new president, that is momentous. England is rolling out all the vaccines, which is fantastic news. We've, we've got a terrific push going on to get everybody vaccinated. Uh, I haven't got there yet, but as you hopefully have noticed that I'm not over 80 and that's the category we're in at the moment. I really, really hope that it comes soon because I want to get vaccinated. I want to get back to the States. I want to get back to doing some conventions and meeting you all. I'd like to get back to working. I'm not sure about that one, though. No. Anyway, the point of it is the vaccinations are here. Um, when I get mine, I'll be able to feel a lot more comfortable about coming out. Um, I have a couple of certainly a couple of things I want to do. I want to go to Knoxville in the summertime for the uh, for a convention there. I have got something in Europe. Um, so. Fingers crossed. I really am excited about this and um, I hope you are too and I hope you're going to get your vaccinations. Meanwhile, I have been clearing out my mum's house because, as you know, she sadly died a few months ago and she has an awful lot of stuff, a lot of Sarah Douglas stuff, a lot of memorabilia, a lot of stuff I probably dumped on her. And I just want to quickly say to you that um, I'm really grateful for all the things you send me, for all the paintings and the pictures and the, the, the mugs and the, I mean, all sorts of wonderful things. But some of it has to go. I have loved and I have nurtured and I have enjoyed. But if you do see or you discover that something that you once gave me has suddenly appeared in uh, Antiques Roadshow or something, um, or whatever it might be, please know that I have appreciated it. Um, I just cannot uh, keep all these things. So I am having to get rid of quite a few things. Um, meanwhile, whilst getting rid of things I've been sorting out, I came across an old picture of mine, which I'm going to show you. Now, it's very appropriate because, as you know, I do like to tie things in just a little bit and there's always a story behind the picture. So here's the picture. OK, there we are. Can you see it? That is myself and... Um, Vice President Bush. So this was back in the 80s and I'm delighted to remember that we were invited by the Vice President to go along to a barbecue at his place. I don't think he was doing the barbecue but it was a big barbecue and it was in aid of the Special Olympics and he invited the members of the Superman cast who were there in Washington and I was delighted, that's twice I've been delighted, I might be delighted again for three times. I was delighted to go along. Unfortunately, I, well, first and foremost, I don't know what happened. I think because I was in one of the limousines way at the back. Uh, it was a whole palaver and procedure as the limousines drew up and people got out and uh, it was beautifully done. Warner Brothers really, really, really spoiled us. But I was um, obviously, well, not obviously, but I was at the back somewhere. And by the time I got to get out of the car, I don't think I had an invitation. But if I did, I didn't have it then. So I jumped out of the car looking, I think, a little bit like a painter and decorator in that white jumpsuit. Anyway, that's by the by, unless, of course, they mistook me and thought I was a workman. Anyway, the point of it is the Secret Service weren't having any of me. I said, I'm, I'm Ursa from Superman. Of course, they looked at me and thought, mm, I don't think so because I prided myself in those days on my long, glossy locks that, as you know, were tucked up inside that short cropped wig. Well, guess what? Couldn't get in. So I was standing there in quite a, a, a state. There was nobody. All the other actors had gone rushing on inside. I guess they were probably heading for the barbecue, heading for those hot dogs or whatever it was. I was stuck outside. Anyway, there was a little bit of a commotion and who should come from round the back? I think he'd be putting the garbage out or something, I don't know, but there was the vice president coming up the garden path. And he greeted me like a long lost friend. Thank goodness, thank you, Vice President Bush. Anyway, there he was and um, I explained what had happened. And that's where he put his arms around me and reassured me because he said, I have something for you, my dear. Well, it might not have been his words, but anyway, he gave me this teeny, teeny, teeny little badge. I don't know if you can see it. And on it, it says, guest of the vice president. And he told me, he said, you wear that, you can go anywhere you like. The Secret Service will not bother you. So I had the run of the house. 
I didn't like to go upstairs. It didn't seem appropriate to go and check out his bedrooms. But I basically, wearing that badge, it meant that I wasn't going to get myself into any more trouble. As if. Anyway, so there's my little memory from my Superman days back in 82, 83, something like that, of, a, of a, another wonderful Superman occasion. So having said that, um, I just want to say to you, please uh, take care of yourselves. Stay fit, stay well, get outside. You know, the sun is shining today, which is lovely. Um, I'm going to be outside having another walk. I know some of you aren't able to get out and some of you just don't have anywhere to get out to. So if that's the case, just throw open your window, stick your head out of the window and take a couple of lungfuls of air because they keep telling us with this virus, we've got to keep our lungs working. We need to have fresh air moving around and you know, we've got to do everything we can. And also wear that mask. I was fascinated watching the inauguration, you know. I found myself not looking at the outfits or the dresses or the shoes, but I was looking at the masks. Who wore what? Who wore a colour coordinated one? Who wore one that went right up there? Who wore one that went right like that? Incidentally, I have to say, I found them rather convenient. I wear a mask, I wear a hat, I wear my dark glasses. Nobody recognises me. I can go anywhere I like. Mind you, nobody recognised me when I went to the Superman barbecue. I didn't have a mask on then, so who am I kidding?